But first, I do want to take you back to some breaking news and an update that has just come in to our newsroom. A representative does confirm that rapper Takeoff has died in a shooting outside of a Houston bowling alley. Takeoff, who was part of Migos along with Quavo and Offset, was 28 years old. Houston police say officers responded shortly after 2.30 a.m. local time to reports of a shooting at 810 Billiards and Bowling. We're told that dozens of people had gathered on a balcony outside the bowling alley at the time, which was on the third floor of that building. Police say security guards who were in the area heard the shooting but didn't see who did it. Last month, Takeoff and Quavo released their debut as a duo only built for Infinity Links. Once again, we have learned for a representative here confirming that rapper Takeoff has died in a shooting outside of a Houston bowling alley. As we do get some more information on that, we will bring that to you live, raw, and unfiltered as we do here on Live Now from Fox. I do want to take you back out here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not sure exactly what just happened, but that actually is the news conference where they did announce that shooting in Houston a bit earlier on today. Actually, I'm going to play that for you raw and unfiltered right now here on Live Now from Fox. I'm here with Commander Steven Spears, who's also with the Homicide Division. Uh, we're just giving a brief update on the investigation that occurred here at uh, 1201 San Jacinto. At approximately 2.30 this morning, uh, our officers were dispatched out here to a shooting that had just occurred. Uh, upon arrival, they located multiple shell casings on the third level of the building at the 810 Bowling and Billiards. Um, I guess it's a, a bowling and pool hall. Uh, we were informed that there was a um, private party being held at the event last night that ended at approximately 1 a.m., but the party carried over till about 2 a.m. till they were cleared out. That's when the shooting occurred, where it left one male deceased on scene uh, and two others that were transported to area hospitals nearby. Uh, we are still in the process in the early stages of, the, of this investigation. Uh, trying to gather all the information we can and we're looking for the public's help or anybody who was at the party or at the event that witnessed this to call the Homicide Division at 713-308-3600. If they want to remain anonymous, they can call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. We're looking for any information uh, on the shooting at this time. You know the conditions of the two people at the time. Uh, we have investigators and officers heading that way now. Uh, we do not know. We know they're still alive and in surgery, but uh, other than that, don't know the actual condition until we get there. Um, like I said, the one that is here is deceased. He's a black male in his late 20s. Um, and like I said, we won't release any information on him until we're able to get more information, either from the medical examiner's office, once they uh, positively identify him, from the uh, autopsy or if a family member or friends or family come forward and give us information uh, of who he is and things like that. We're hearing so rappers were involved in the shooting. Can you at least confirm that? Uh, I mean, I can't confirm that. Uh, I can tell you that there are rappers at the party. I don't know if they're involved in the shooting, but uh, like I said, it's still in the early process of the investigation. So once we find out more, we'll release that in either a press statement to y'all later on. Uh, or we'll give you a, uh, another press conference. So you haven't identified if the rappers are amigos? We were told by several witnesses who attended the party they were here at the bowling alley. Yes, we were informed that they were here. The amigos, yes. Quavo and Takeoff? Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, is there any uh, surveillance cameras up there that y'all probably will be looking at uh, uh, during the daytime? They do have surveillance video cameras here in the, uh, the complex. Uh, our investigators have reviewed the cameras and are still in the process of reviewing them. Uh, so once they're finished doing that, we'll have more information, like I said, later on. Like I said, still early in the process. And uh, once we get all that information, we will provide it to you. You mentioned that this was a private party. Was it private or was it sort of like a uh, VIP closed off area and the uh, general public who may have purchased tickets? As far as that detail, I don't know. I was just informed that it was a private party or a, a private event. So We were told there was some sort of argument between two groups. Do we know how this started? Do you guys have any information on that, at least? Uh, no, but whoever you're talking to, have them call us and we'll get the information. And 
more than, more than welcome to get that information from them as well. We also heard that security guards were involved. Did you hear anything about that? Like I said, okay. we're still in the process. And I'm sure you all are getting a lot of calls as we are as well. Um, just to address it, just what can we expect moving forward with this case? It appears it could be high profile. Just what do you want the public to know moving forward on this matter? Well, right now, anybody who knows anything, they need to call us instead of the news stations because um, it appears that they're calling y'all and not us. So if you do have information on this, please come forward, call us at, like I said, the two numbers, the Homicide Division or Crime Stoppers. Uh, we'll take all information, interview you in person or over the phone. But yes, please come out um, because if this does turn out to be a high, pro high profile case, we want to make sure that uh, justice is found for uh, the people involved, not just the person who is shot, but uh, everyone else who's at the hospital right now. Do you happen to know how many people were here at the time? Uh, at the time, we know there's anywhere between 40 and 50 people. Do we have any more information about the two that are in the hospital, male or female, general ages, anything like that? Uh, I don't at this time to both hospitals. Uh, we found out about them late. They were private transport, um, so it got called in as a separate call from this. They weren't transported from the location. They took themselves to the hospital. So it took a little time for us to connect their case with this case. And just to be clear, um, we know that rappers were here, but we don't know if any of the rappers were shot or is the one possibly killed. Not at this time, no. Just so we have the spelling. All right, so there you heard right there. We did learn just a short time ago from a representative that Migos rapper Takeoff has been killed in that shooting at a party there at a Houston bowling alley, 801 Billiards and Bowling. A representative for Takeoff confirming the information a short time ago to the Associated Press. As we do get more information on that, we will bring that to you live, raw, and unfiltered here on Live Now from Fox. It is also worth noting that Quavo from Migos was apparently there at the party as well. It is not clear if he was hit by gunfire. As we do get that update, we'll bring that to you here on Live Now.